Whilst England may not have ice-capped mountains on the sheer scale of Everest or Mont Blanc, it is still home to some breathtaking high-altitude scenery. But where in particular? Well, let's take a look at the 10 counties that boast the country's highest peaks and uh, where exactly each peak is found. Number 10. Our first entry is a county sharing a border with North Wales, the county of Cheshire. The Welsh connection is a red herring though, as its highest point comes from the Peak District. Anyone who's been to Macclesfield and climbed the 108 steps will testify that Cheshire doesn't mess about with its gradients. A few miles east of Macclesfield is its highest point, the hill known as Shining Tor. Number 9. Next is a county full of old textile mills, and of course, breathtaking scenery. It is West Yorkshire. With the Peak District to the south, and the Yorkshire Dales to the north, this county's position in the heart of the Pennines is clear from the backdrops of the very towns therein, such as Keighley, Halifax and Huddersfield, to name just a few. Its highest point is Black Hill in the Peak District, around 10 miles southwest of Huddersfield. Number 8. Now for something, or rather somewhere, completely different. Here's a county famous for its two coastlines, but also home to Dartmoor National Park, Devon. Now the definition of a mountain varies depending on who you ask, but essentially it's any natural elevation rising above either 600 metres or 2,000 feet. Devon's highest point qualifies on both counts, making it home to the first mountain to feature on this list. The mountain in question is High Willays, standing at 621 metres or 2,039 feet, although the neighbouring summit of Yes Tor is approximately a mere 2.5 metres smaller. Number 7. And for the next county, we head back up north to the land of textile mills, stone terrace houses, and in this case, hot pots, Lancashire. With towns of above average altitude like Blackburn, Burnley and Rawtonstall, it's no secret that Lancashire is home to some stunning peaks, including the famous Pendle Hill, but the highest point comes from around the tri-point of Lancashire and two other counties, with a summit of 628 metres, Green Hill. Oh, <clears throat> uh, Green Hill. Number 6. When you think of the Peak District, usually one county in particular springs to mind, and that county is Derbyshire. Aside from its rolling hills, there are many notable towns here at high altitude, particularly in the northwestern, aptly named district of High Peak. This is home to the spa town of Buxton, which, at an altitude of a thousand feet above sea level, is claimed to be England's highest market town. As for the highest point in the county, that's found slightly north of Buxton at the plateau known as Kinder Scout. It was here in 1932 that a mass trespass took place in protest against the fencing off of open countryside by wealthy landowners. This historic event paved the way for the national parks and the right to roam, something that's almost taken for granted these days, making this arguably the most important entry on this list from a political standpoint. Number 5. Now for our second county of this list on the England-Wales border, and this time it's the very border itself that comes into play. The county is Herefordshire, where you'll find the eastern end of the Black Mountains, which in turn are part of the Brecon Beacons. Peeking over into the English side of the border is the 700 metre high Black Mountain, which is kind of like nature's equivalent of the slice of pizza that Wales decided to share with England. Number four, and now back to the land where the word the is missing from the dictionary as we had this time for North Yorkshire. Being home to the North York Moors and a large part of the Yorkshire Dales, 
it's not hard to see why this is often referred to as God's own country. Singling out any one area is particularly tough in what is, after all, England's largest county. In terms of altitude, the highest point comes once again from the Pennines, and in this case the Yorkshire Dales mountain of Wernside, one of three peaks in close proximity and just a few miles from the iconic Ribblehead Viaduct on the settling Carlisle line for the train enthusiasts out there. Number three. Heading further north still, we come to our first top three entry, County Durham. Here's a county that is topographically split between east and west. At the eastern side is where you'll find the big towns, and of course the cathedral city of Durham itself. Whilst on the western side is where you'll find the hills and mountains of the North Pennines. The highest is right on the border with a certain other county, the mountain is Mickle Fell, a name that derives from Old Norse for Great Mountain. Number two. And now we head to another border county, this time on the England-Scotland border, Northumberland. By this point you may have noticed a pattern that a county's highest peaks often form natural borders between other counties and indeed countries of Britain. That has been the case for all but two entries featured here. Rivers also play a large role in this regard, hence why there are no straight lines for borders, unlike what you see in North America, for instance. To that end, Northumberland is separated from Scotland in part by the River Tweed and also in part by the Northumberland National Park. It's here that you'll find the Cheviot. This peak, or rather giant dome, reaches a height of 815 metres and captured the imagination of Daniel Defoe over 300 years ago when he took a detour here during his tour through Britain. Number 1 And of course, it'll come as no surprise to many that the county with the highest point in England is the one that's home to the Lake District, along with its associations with Messrs Wordsworth and Wainwright, Cumbria. Now, of course, I should clarify that Cumbria as a county has only existed since April 1974, when the historic counties of Cumberland and Westmoreland were merged, along with the Furness Peninsula of Lancashire and a sliver of Yorkshire as well. In old money, Cumberland is home to the highest point, which is the famous Scarfell Pike. Standing at 978 metres, this mountain is situated close to the historic tri points of Cumberland, Westmoreland and Lancashire. And it features on the National Three Peaks Challenge, in which participants attempt to climb this, along with Snowdon in Wales and Ben Nevis in Scotland, within a 24-hour period. And yes, Scarfell Pike is the smallest of these three peaks, but perhaps I'll cover the mountains of Wales and Scotland in a future video, who knows? Thanks for watching and have a great day.